uh, I have this uh, yoga thing going on. I, you know, she had uh, taken a break uh, from work because of her small child. So it's like many women out here who have, uh, you know, left their careers. Then she got interested due to health reasons or whatever into yoga and uh, she's gotten good at it. Uh, taught up to few family members and students here and there and then wanted to know uh, like she had taken some course which I do not, do not like or recommend and I'm not going to take the name of that course because uh, no negative publicity here but that course uh, because of the course she bought a domain okay and now she didn't know what to do with it so basically I sat with her looked at the site there were some uh, issues with the site we got those sorted out uh, not major just a pointers here and there you know how she can put her cta call to action and stuff like that then i said that see when you start starting a website no as soon as it is up you're not going to get traffic you there's a lot of work involved this time involved for some people it can be a lesser time frame for some people it will be a lot much more work okay so what is the time frame um, anywhere between say six months to a year year and a half before you see any traction so I recommend it that you know first uh, make a Google my business listing so she's from Bangalore so we've you know Bangalore is a little competitive so we found in that you know where how she can list gave a few recommendations and uh, for our business alone uh, we get around 650 calls from Google you know free calls free calls now I'm not talking about the traffic Traffic is around 9,000 to 10,000. Sometimes it's less, sometimes it's now is a good season for that particular business uh, we are in. Uh, it's a kind of a coaching. It's nothing related to blogging. So that is the potential of this. And also one time you do it, it's a lifetime thing. Okay. Second, uh, 